Welcome to another episode of the UX UI Snacks. Today I'll be talking about skeleton UIs. Do you ever go to a website and while the website is loading, there's a little spinning loading bar and then when it's done spinning and loading, you actually have no idea how long the website's gonna even take to load. And then when it's done loading, everything just loads at the same time. And sometimes it could be very abrupt, and like things just like literally just load in right away. Well, using a skeleton UI will kind of solve some of these problems in your designs. Whether you know this or not, skeleton UIs are something you've already been seeing in a lot of websites and apps that you've been visiting. So what I'll do now is I'll show you a couple examples on my phone and I'll use a couple uh, products that you're actually familiar with and you've used these products before and you possibly haven't even noticed that they have a skeleton UI. So let's go right in. So let's start off with YouTube. So I'm just opening up YouTube. Notice this little dark things that are just right there. Now I'm gonna show you a quick example of how Netflix handles the skeleton UI. And notice this skeleton UI is loading here. So you're gonna see all, the, all those little naked boxes and stuff like that loaded in there and then, all, and then all this content loaded. And let's do that again just so you could see. Let's choose history. So I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna hit history real quick. And then when I hit history, notice the blank UI, kind of boxes and circles that are not filled with anything. So notice that. So see how these are all blank and there's nothing in there. So then, then these things are all loading, the little picture on top, the little circles, which are different movies. They're all kind of loading in there and they're not just coming in abruptly. You kind of expect them to go in the places, in those places, like you expected the circles to load in the circles and the squares to load into the squares. Now I'm gonna show you an example on Yelp. So let's open up Yelp. So now I'm going to Yelp, you notice how those boxes were blank? Let's try that again. And I'm gonna open up Yelp, see those boxes, there are nothing's in there, and, there, and then the stuff loads. And that's just another example of a skeleton UI. So the time frame of how long the skeleton UI will stay on the screen depends on your actual internet connection. So that could be your, sometimes a millisecond, sometimes a few seconds. From a design perspective, you could see this would be very, very easy to design, literally just some blank boxes and some circles and just position them in the right places. It's really subtle UX, UI thinking like this that really brings products to the next level. And also I wanna suggest kind of doing this skeleton UI design all more towards the end of your, when you're already done with your design and it's kind of approved. I hope you like this video and see how you could possibly use some of these ideas in your design. If you're enjoying these videos, feel free to like and subscribe if you already haven't. I would greatly appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.